Hey everybody, this is Hannah from Stonehouse Photo and I'm doing a quick tutorial on how to enhance fur um, for pet photography. You could also use this for humans um, if you have somebody who's got um, some hair that may be a little blown out or something like that. Um, this is from a session I did in Fort Worth, Texas with a really cool Sheltie um, and she has amazing hair. You can tell um, basically by looking at her she has super model material, um, but what I really like to do with this, for no apparent reason, other than I think it's kind of fun, um, is to add some detail and to um, just to play around a little bit. I do tend to edit very naturally. I don't do a lot of effects other than black and white conversions, um, but sometimes it's just, you know, it's fun to play around with stuff. Uh, so this is an in-camera um, shot correctly image, um, and this is without any editing yet. So what I like to do with it is um, I have my import that I do uh, and it just sort of brightens it up a little bit, maybe a little more contrast, um, and then I might adjust the exposure. But then I like to, in here with Lightroom, those of you who are familiar with it, we have a bunch of options right here. Um, I like to use adjustment brushes a lot just to really um, focus in what I'm trying to edit if I have something that I don't want to pull into Photoshop itself because that can be time consuming and it's it's a lot easier actually to do it in Lightroom. So I have actually created a brush here and I'll kind of show you what I'm doing. In Lightroom you can do all kinds of targeted editing um, in this brush part and you can mess with exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, clarity, saturation, sharpness, all of that. And I tend to with fur kind of you know play with the shadows, bring them down a little bit, bring the clarity up a little bit, maybe some of the sharpness. Um, and you can make the brush bigger, smaller, and just sort of, you know, start playing around with it. Um, you can really start to tell there's some definition in there. Um, and as I come in closer, you know, you can really play around with this, have some fun with it, um, and look at the final image. But you can, you know, play around, get some some real look into her supermodel hair. And then once you do that, you can show where, if you go down to the show selected mask overlay, you can click on that and it'll show where you've actually added it. Um, and then you can add if you want to do add more. I don't actually usually have it on because um, I can't really tell what's going on if I have it on. So, as I play with it, you know, basically you can go like that, bring the shadows down. It doesn't show a whole lot, um, but I'll show you what it does with the clarity slider, which um, you want to use very, on the overall image, you tend, want to tend to use clarity um, very sparingly because it'll, especially with humans, it won't look the best. Their skin will start to look really odd. But with these targeted kind of things, you can do all kinds of stuff with it. But if you bring it down, it blurs it out. So lack of clarity is not something you necessarily want. So I like to bring it up in there. You can do more sharpness if you want. Um, this doesn't do a whole lot with this image. Uh, but the other thing you can do is highlights, especially when you have um, some very light hair and next to the very dark hair, you can bring the highlights down and it'll have that be less blown out. So let's see what we're going to do. We're going to do clarity down just a tad and shadows. I think I'm going to bring down just a little bit. And look at the whole image. Um, I don't know if I don't want the sharpness that much. It looks a little off. Okay, so if I hit set button, it'll show us what it looked like before, and then it'll show us what it looks like now. And I kind of like 
the drama of the more defined hair. So there you go. That's the very short tutorial on how to do this. I hope it helped and I'll have lots more uh, more in-depth tutorials coming up. Just wanted to do this as a practice. Thanks a lot.